Hello everyone, I am Rachna Kasana, Assistant Professor of uh, Journalism and Mass Communication Department. Students, I hope you all are fine at home. As you all are know or aware about the topic, uh, Wesley and Maclean's model of communication. So today we will study about Wesley and Maclean's model of communication. Uh, students, this model was suggested or proposed by Bruce Wesley and uh, Malcolm S. McLean's Jr. Uh, this model is also known as gatekeeping model, right students? And then uh, this model was an adaptation from Newcomb's model of communication. Uh, with that, uh, the Wesley and McLean's model can be applied in two contexts and the ones, first one is interpersonal and the second one is mass communication. Please note down Wesley and Maclean's model can be applied in two contexts, interpersonal and mass communication. Here, the point of difference is being the feedback. In interpersonal communication, feedback is direct and fast, right? And in uh, mass communication, feedback is indirect and slow and mass communication, right? Uh, uh, if you can see uh, the diagram of Wesley and Maclean's model of communication, now we will uh, discuss about its components and its component uh, one is source. Source is the message creator and sender, right? A, A denotes to a source. Then there is a, a environment. Uh, environment uh, is denoting by X. Uh, you know, what is environment in this model? Uh, X is basically the environment uh, which is physical and psychological situation where the message is being created and sent. Now you can see in this model there are uh, S, X1, X2, X3, X4 and infinity. Uh, these all are sensory experience. Now the question arises: what is sensory experience? Sensory experience is the first thing that the source sees by which the source gets the idea for the formation of the message. I hope you understand. Now the second one is object of orientation. Object of orientation is what is object of orientation? Object of orientation is the person's social and cultural reality that has formed from his her past experience and teachings. Right and uh, right students. Message and the other component is message interpretation or coding. Coding X is denoted by coding. If you can see the diagram, uh, there is uh, X. X stands for coding. Right. Uh, the message interpretation coding means message is interpretation interpreted with the objects of orientation of the receiver of the message. Now B stands for receiver. The other component is receiver. The person who gets the message sent by the source and the person who interprets according to his or her object of orientation. Right? Now here X or B stands for object of orientation of receiver. It means the views and ideas of the receiver or his her social reality is an object of orientation. That is how the receiver interpret the message. F. Here F is stands for feedback. Right. As I told you earlier uh, in interpersonal communication feedback is direct and fast. But in uh, mass communication feedback is slow and indirect right the receiver forms another message uh, what does a feedback means the here feedback is the receiver forms another message after interpreting the message and sends it back to the sender it is known as feedback right now the component is gatekeeper here c stands for gatekeeper right gatekeepers are found in mass communication the gatekeeper is the editor who filters the message as per the needs of the audience and media institutions opinion leaders opinion leaders are well known and recognized people who can influence public opinion now uh, we will discuss the concepts of Wesley and Maclean's model of communication. Uh, now, the process of communication, Wesley and Maclean's model of communication, starts when the source creates a message from his her environment. And environments are x1, x2, x3, x4, infinity, right? Now, the communicator acts and creates the message as a response to the sensory experience with his her own object of orientation. 
now you can see all these things in your uh, diagram also then the response is coded after interpreting the environmental response the coded message is transmitted to a second respondent who interpret the message differently according to his or object of orientation and provide feedback to the sender right i hope uh, you are getting what i want to say or what i uh, want you to co comprehend right gatekeeper and opinion leaders are the parts of communication process in mass communication they are the editors proofreaders etc who choose which message should be published and what effect will it have on the audience filter of the message is dependent on many factors and here gatekeeping is done in these levels individual level individual level routine practice level communication organization social institutions societies uh, i hope you are getting what i am saying i have uh, told you the different levels of gatekeeping now we'll proceed to example uh, with the help of example i will try to explain what does uh, uh, wesley and maclean's model of communication try to tell you a person a is going to a meeting thunderstorm x1 and heavy rain x2 start the road x3 are all blocked a will have to convey the message to the people who are conducting the meeting that he she will not be reaching on time a can inform all others through phone right here the message is conceived from the environmental message through the person sensory experience the object of orientation of the person makes him call others because he thinks that reaching late is impolite sender a creates the message as a courteous request the message is coded in a language form and is sent to the receiver b here b interprets according to his own object of orientation like the receiver can still finds reaching late to a meeting route the feedback is given accordingly now now you we can. will discuss the advantages of wesley and maclean's model of communication uh, the first advantage of uh, uh, wesley and maclean's model is the concept of feedback that this model has a concept of feedback and as the message comes from the environment sensory field improves the message formation and the other one is social and other factors are included in object of orientation Uh, the uh, other uh, advantage of this model is that the model can be applied to interpersonal group communication as well as mass communication and this model is very descriptive also now come to the disadvantages of wesley and maclean's model of communication there are many variables even for small simple communi sorry simple communication which makes the model very complicated and this model is only two dimensional and does not explain communication which involves multiple messages and complicated messages and the last disadvantage of wesley and maclean's model of communication the information can get modified while sending it from the sender to the receiver as there can be no as it can be noise the model does not account for noise in communication thank you so much students